Hey, it's Liz, your Everyone's Librarian, and I'm here to help you get more books and reading into your everyday life. One of my favorite tips for getting kids to develop a love of reading is having a balanced bookshelf. These seven categories will help you make sure you have a bit of all sorts of books. Because we know that the best way to get kids reading more is to give them books they'll gobble up, and that will make them ask for another. Yep, it's that simple. Freedom of choice is a key to getting them motivated and excited. Fiction are stories that are made up to entertain readers. Chances are, these are what you typically read most. Whether they are the books for the littlest of bookworms, for kids who love tales of adventure, or to give everybody a bit of rest and togetherness after a long day. Books are springboards for storytelling, writing, and make-believe, especially when your kiddos can be in charge of creating silly characters and even figuring out a way to picture themselves in the story. Encourage imagination by zooming into space on an out-of-this-world adventure that's different every time you read it. Our kiddos love being active participants in all they do, and story time is the perfect opportunity for this when you're reading books. From making owies all better, to helping Bear find just right glasses, to tucking animals into bed with their favorite stuffies. Make sure you don't let Nibbles eat his way through your favorite books. And help Alex figure out just what to do with his new pet dragon, along with the help that arrives in the form of letters from a variety of experts. When most people think nonfiction, they think fact books and probably a little boring, but facts can be fun. When you go paw to paw with polar bears, see the world from a squid's point of view, or walk in the footsteps of an allosaurus, you're sure to look at the world just a little bit differently. Children are geniuses, and they deserve to be treated that way. Peter Osborne's philosophy is apparent in our question and answer books. There's no dumbing down of information in here, and all of it is presented in bite-sized chunks of information that makes it easy for kids to absorb. With all the fun flaps for them to lift, kids will spend even more time engaging with and learning material. From learning about the world of animals, to finding a synonym for adventure, to discovering how children around the world go to school, and even getting to see some videos, these are the reference books you want on your shelf. And don't forget to have some books on your shelf that save your sanity. The ones that keep your kiddos occupied and engaged in activities, especially so they can spend some time without you right next to them. And you know they're getting their minds going. Simply put, these are the books that your kids are gonna come back to time and time again. The ones you get your money's worth from and the ones that are everyone's favorites. And they're the ones that are gonna hold the memories of quality time together. The books that you'll keep forever because they are treasured keepsakes of family time well spent. So whether you have a reluctant reader, or a budding bookworm, or a kiddo whose nose is always in a book, you'll want some of each of these categories of books in your home library. Happy reading!